My name is Chris Erdikian. I'm a major at the Barnstable County Sheriff's Office. I've been with the department for 22 plus years. I'm currently Assistant Deputy Superintendent of Operations. I oversee the shifts that work inside the facility. My name is Peter Montero. I'm a major here at the Bonsville County Correctional Facility. I've worked for the department for 25 plus years. Um, I'm currently an assistant deputy superintendent in charge of uh, training. I'm the director of training. I also oversee the reentry program here at the facility. I also oversee inmate health and medical services, uh, electronic monitoring, and uh, work release inmates. Well, today we're going to walk through uh, the facility. We're going to start off at Central Control. We're going to go down to our jailer units uh, where pretrial inmates are waiting to go to court. We'll go into the intake area. We're going to be checking, uh, well, we'll show you our uh, B scan, uh, body scan unit. And from there, we'll walk down to the uh, uh, RSTAP program, our resident substance abuse treatment program, and take a tour inside there. Okay, well, we're up here at Central Control. This is kind of the heartbeat of the facility. All the movement is controlled through Central Control through two panels. We also have two supervisors that are up here at all times. They're, they oversee operations inside the facility. A any type of situations that take place, they respond to it and make decisions accordingly based upon uh, the, the incident at hand. With that being said, we have these, these, these stations set up. This is uh, Alpha Station. Alpha Station uh, basically handles all of the incoming uh, alerts, such as if somebody needs to get from one door to another, they'll hit a, hit a button, it will alert the panel, the officer will activate and first see who the officer is that's trying to get through the door or the staff member, and then we'll then activate the door for movement. We have over 300 cameras that are in operation. We just had a major upgrade about a year ago and um, there isn't an area inside this facility that doesn't have a camera uh, located inside of a unit. So obviously this is intake right here. Uh, what we have is uh, when the inmates come in, uh, they're escorted through the garage in the van. The officers obviously deploy their weapons and keep them outside. There's no weapons obviously allowed in the facility. They'll come in, they'll go through the B-scan unit, which uh, Major Adikian will speak to. We have a uh, booking officer that will stay on this side of the wall with a uh, view of the inmate, and he's able to direct the inmate using an intercom system on where to stand and alerts the officer that a scan is going to be performed, so he will stand in an area where uh, the, the very minute amount of radiation is produced by the machine to produce the scan. And this is the workstation that uh, basically takes in all that information and um, we're able to view uh, what the scan looks like from this station here. The booking officer will then look to see if there's any indicators of any potential contraband coming through the system. If he does find that, he'll flag it and call a supervisor and we'll take the appropriate steps to isolate the image. We're going to go down and we're actually going to go into the RSAT unit. We'll show you uh, basically the expectation in there is that they're going to keep their quarters clean, uh, neat. We have a picture up that we expect that will, their cell should look like. You will see that. It will be in perfect order. Um, these people are earning good time. They're programming. They're getting the rehabilitation needs met. They're also educating every day and they also have a job. So they're earning the max good time they can. House 3 is also all the worker units. So J-Pod houses all the facility workers inside kitchen, laundry. Um, it's, we have about 40 inmates that work inside here regularly doing floors, waxing floors, uh, kitchen crew, intake, cleaning up, and then LPOD is all our work release. Those are the inmates that go outside community service, DPW, um, the, the work crews that you witnessed today that are all mowing and trimming, they all are in that unit. <clears throat> So this cell is in compliance with what we're looking for in this unit. Uh, the expectation is is that you're going to make your bed. This is a military, uh, you know, based program. So these guys have certain orders that they have to adhere to every day. Um, while they're getting their programming, while they're getting their education, they're getting treatment for alcohol or drug abuse. Um, they go to school here. They're getting an education. They get, some of them get their GEDs. Uh, a lot of this program is court ordered. Um, you have to at least receive a nine month sentence to be eligible for the program um, because it is a process to graduate. But uh, every year we have several, several inmates that graduate through the program. I'm proud to be 
worked with this gentleman for 22 years. He's obviously one of the best we got. Proud to work for the sheriff and his administration. It's, uh, it's a great place to work, so you have to take a look at it. Appreciate you for tuning in.